What's good, Jay Lattice? It's your boy, Jamie, a.k.a. Jamon to be here. Hope you guys are having a good day, because I am for sure. Now, as you see by the title of this video, I'm going to be talking, telling you guys my uh, top 10 moments in 2022 uh, from my perspective. And, uh, yeah, if you're new to this channel, uh, pretty much I do music content, which is mainly the top 10 moments, sort of. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, with top 10, uh, Number 10 is meeting my musician friends this year. Um, a lot has definitely happened this year, but uh, with number 10 being like having like a lot of musician friends is really awesome to me because uh, it gave me the opportunity to like learn how different people work and even like look up to certain uh, friends of mine who are kind of who also had the same similar journey to me starting off slow but re gradually like growing and um, just doing like a lot of really cool awesome stuff where hopefully I get the chance to do that same stuff as well so shout out to everybody who um, who's doing that <laughs> uh, number nine um, reaching 500 J lighters on Instagram now uh, for me uh, usually I don't I try not to care about the numbers uh, but this was a goal that I set up personally with my mentor um, because you know outside of music you do want to like have like a certain type of like audience and stuff like that and um yeah f when i hit this number this year it surprised me because i really think i didn't think it was going to happen until like next year um uh, so yeah when it happened i was just surprised thankful and uh thankful for the i think the 500 the 500 the yeah 500 person who uh Follow me on there was an awesome streamer called Cause Milk, and uh, yeah, that leads into the next uh, top ten, which is number eight, supporting my friends who stream. And yeah, Cause Milk is one of those people I support who does like streaming content and who's a content creator. Uh, some honorable mentions within that is uh, Daquan Wiltshire in the DSG community, Jizzle and the CAC community, uh, Retro Dynamics, uh, MMA fan. Uh, Black Doom, uh, and uh, my friend Scooter, who recently got affiliated on there. So thankful for you guys too for the awesome year. Um, you guys really inspired me a lot to do this part of my life, which is try to make videos for everybody. And um, yeah, fifty fifty, you might be watching this, you might not, but yeah, just know I'm thankful for you guys regardless. Um. So yeah, <laughs> uh, number seven, my first full house show. So on Valentine's Day, or the Valentine's weekend, I mean, uh, it was Super Bowl weekend, of course, as well. And I didn't give a crap because I wanted to do a show. So I had my good friends, Colin Bricewell and Bloodline, be a part of that show. And yeah, we filled up the whole creator space uh, boiler room uh, with a full house of people. And uh, yeah, it was also like a great moment for me because it was the first time I ever did like an actual like live duet with some friends of mine. And so yeah, number six, the Catalyst Artist Collective program. Uh, so yeah, like I mentioned with the goal, um, that was that was within the program at the time of my good mentor Niles. And, um, yeah, thankful for that program because it gave me a bunch of opportunities, like meeting like a bunch of really awesome musicians who I'm friends with, as well as performing and learning how to promote myself more. So, yeah, just a little bit of like what Niles taught me. That's what you see whenever I be promoting, as well as just me kind of just feeling it from the from uh, inside. So, yeah. Number five, uh, reaching 200 Jerry Light is here on YouTube. Uh, this goes without saying. Um, it was it it, it, it surprised me. <laughs> I it was really going slow because for a while, as much as I try not to look at the numbers, I knew it was like still at one eighty nine or something, just like in the one eighties, and I didn't think it was gonna grow anytime soon until probably after I want to call on you and some other uh channel related stuff that happened that became the reason why my channel grew and i'm thankful for everybody in the, in this community who helped made that happen so yeah shout out to you guys uh let's see um number four 
the first music video. Um, so I released a song around the Valentine's era too called Lonely Little Girl. And it was a song that I first wrote back in high school, but re-recorded it with my friend Sun Wukong uh, later on. And um, yeah, it became a popular song and uh, I wanted to make a music video for it. And uh, shout out to my friend Brainwater who made that happen. So yeah, and it's still out there, so you can watch it. <laughs> All right, now for the top three moments in 2022 for me. If you guys have any moments you think are missing from this, comment them down below as well, because I want to know what I'm missing, because these are just like moments I'm thinking of. So number three, and I'm going to make this one short because it's obviously recent, uh, the radio debut. I always wanted to be on radio. Um, I didn't think it was going to happen until um, this year with of my friend Sammy uh, put me on uh, with a chance to try to uh, collab with KFAI and uh, the rest is history but history uh, presents itself in the form of a video which you can find on my channel called my radio debut <laughs> so yeah uh, number two I do uh, the release uh, so I released a wedding song for some friends of mine called I do and it was honestly, it's honestly my latest recording too, by the way, which you can stream down below. Uh, yeah, when I first uh, pre presented it to the world um, with pictures and whatnot <laughs> from the shoot, uh, people thought I was actually getting engaged, which was funny because I've been single my whole life, man. Like I, why? I'm not I'm not that crazy. No offense to anybody who's married at my age or whatever, but personally, I, I don't wouldn't want that to happen until like i'm financially stable and whatnot so yeah <laughs> or if that even does happen but yeah the release turned out pretty funny because like right after i told everybody i didn't get married or I'm, I'm not getting married uh no one from that post that i made like even supported me right afterwards like it, that's how it really f fucked up and funny it is because it made me laugh immediately as soon as i released it like the same people who were hyped that i was getting married didn't like give me that support but it the reason why it's the top three just because how funny it was and it kind of just shows you like yeah who messes you who doesn't but either way i'm thankful for that moment because it, it was just a great moment and uh yeah <laughs> and then number one uh this one is really special to me because here we go <laughs> number one the j lighters uh, and yes i'm talking about both the community and my band um with the community itself like we grown a lot um i don't if i had to put the numbers all together it's definitely like close to 1k and even though no matter what's the same amount of people too um just thankful for the moment where i get the chance to be with you guys and entertain you guys as much as i can it's really awesome and with my band the j lighters themselves i'm thankful for everybody shout out to john uh juan and gavin you guys are the best i hope that we continue doing what we do best and uh yeah because i really wanted a band this year and thank really thankful that it, it finally happened and I'm pretty sure I made a similar video like this, so you guys could check that out too. Cause I don't want to get into it as much, but yeah, it really, this band is really something I want in my life, and hopefully, I could get it 100% in the clear. But yeah, that's it, guys. Um, so yeah, those are my top 10 moments. Uh, if you like what you're here, uh, hit that like button. If you want to add like honorable moments, like I said, put them down below. And yeah, speaking of my band, we got a show next Friday, January 6th, with my good friend, Juliet Catherine. So get those tickets down below. I'm also doing a giveaway until Friday. So yeah, take care. Peace.